Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our legs again. Straight away I'm going to start with the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side to unlock my entire body's mobility before I begin working on my hamstring and quad muscles. One of the things which I want to let you know is that most of my exercises would be the similar ones which I'll be doing again and again and try to emphasize on the cue points again and again. The most important reason of growth and transformation and gaining of strength is consistency. So the more we do a particular exercise in the right way, the more strength and development we would notice. So let's continue doing that. On that note, I will quickly finish my five repetitions with a speed up video and now move into my deep squat, mandatory deep squat for the day. Again, doing it every day will improve it. So make sure you hinge, push your glutes as far behind as possible, get those hamstrings stretched and then slowly sit down into a deep squat and stay there for 5 to 10 seconds. Keep trying to do that. If you're unable to do it, make sure you try to identify areas of tightness which is restricting you from going into a deep squat. Post my deep squat, I started with my warm-up RDLs. Two sets, 12 repetitions with 45 seconds rest in between. Remember, I have mentioned this earlier too. When you're trying to get the bar up, you're not actually trying to lift it up. You are actually thrusting your hips forward basically a horizontal application of force to get yourself into a straight posture and as you lower the bar make sure the bar is always in contact with your legs and your arms are pushing behind so the bar is really pushing hard into your legs it's digging into your legs and your back remains tight the motion of hinging is pretty easy to do you just want to touch a wall or close a door with your butt cheeks and that would allow you to hinge properly and create that hamstring to glute stretch you might even feel the stretch in your calf muscles and that's absolutely fine and the right way to do it there is nothing wrong in that if you do feel a lot of calf stretches if your calves are tight you would feel a bit of stretch there Post completing my warm up, I moved into my working sets where I have done progressive overload sets of four with 10 repetitions each. I tried to see how much weight I would be able to control and I was able to control a good amount of weight. So next time when I do this, I'm going to start with a heavier weight. Even with this weight, as you can see in both the videos side by side, my form remains straight, uh, absolutely the same. No matter what weight it is, your form has to remain the same. You keep driving your arms behind so that your back remains straight. The bar is always in contact with your body. And once you try to go down, you go down by pushing your glutes as far behind as possible, trying to touch that imaginary wall and feel the stretch in your hamstrings. And when you want to get up, you don't want to pull the bar. You want to actually squeeze your glutes in and push yourself into a straight posture. The more you practice this, the more better your hamstring control gets. And also, you need not do any, need not do any other variations of, you know, uh, glute bridges or glute thrusts, anything, hip thrusts for your glute growth. This one exercise can make sure that you get an amazing butt cheeks strength and roundness. This plus squats every week can give you an amazing results if done in a perfect form. So for my fourth set, I try to go almost 35 kilos each side. And again, making sure my form remains absolutely the same. If at any point my form had compromised, I would have immediately switched my weight down and kept practicing at that weight. I use straps, so it makes my life a little bit easier. So for my next exercise, I went on to my leg extensions now as usual i started off doing alternative leg and once i was tired or my quads fatigued i moved into doing it both legs at a time kind of a drop set for my first two sets and later on i started doing both legs at a time because my legs were fried my quads were still not completely recovered from the last squat day 
so i kept my quads working as much as possible get all the repetitions in basically five sets 12 repetitions so try to get them all in i took good 60 seconds break in between because legs can get quite demanding and good amount of rest is particularly important i made sure the uh you know the cushion the resting cushion on my shins went as far behind as possible to get a great amount of stretch on my quads and i tried to kick up as explosively with control as possible to get maximum amount of contraction in my quads make sure you also stay in contact with your seat and with the back support how i do this i just happen to pull myself into the seat by holding the underside of the seat or the given support handles i never bounce off the seat post my quad work i moved on to my forearm work now here i simply grabbed a preloaded or a weighted barbell you can also use an empty barbell and load it with plates and started it started rolling first inwards basically trying to get my pinky finger into my inner forearms and then post few repetitions and after feeling okay i got the grip i started switching into the reverse wrist curls wherein i started getting the upper side of my palm towards my outer forearm getting as much squeeze as possible now the more weight you use the more challenging this exercise becomes the barbell is really there to just give you a little bit of a balance and support i don't like to do this particular exercise in dumbbells it uh, you know it kind of shifts the weight every now and then so i prefer to use barbell and here i have preloaded barbells at my disposal so i was using them i was using a i think 20 kilo barbell so make sure you twist your arm as tight as possible and while one arm twists the other arm loosens and you try to get as much tightness in your forearms as possible the blood flow should be good and you should feel real heaviness and tightness in your forearm so that would be a good forearm work you can take up to 45 seconds rest in between and if you fatigue you can use both arms at a time to get those last few repetitions like i did here post this i went on to do a little bit of core work here this time i chose to do a little bit of plank i do not prefer doing regular planks because it puts a lot of stress on my shoulders my elbows but i do prefer this challenging one wherein i use a bosu ball basically rest my elbows on a bosu ball and then perform a plank this particular way of doing plank is quite a bit challenging so i would suggest you doing a regular plank with a yoga mat or cushion under your forearms and if your shoulders hurt make sure you take a break in between but if you're comfortable doing a regular plank please do try this one this is a bit more challenging bit more core uh, strength demanding work if you want to make it more challenging you can push the bosu ball a little bit farther away and your core would be demanded a lot more in terms of stabilizing your body in that posture post that we are done with our exercises i move on to my static stretches wherein i hold my stretches for 20 seconds simple basic quad and hamstring stretches we do this regularly here i started using the bar support regularly because it kind of Uh, makes my life a little bit easier i can focus all my energy on stretching that muscle as much as possible if i'm holding it with my hands i need to also balance myself and try to use my hands to pull my leg in but here with a bar i can just slowly you know bend back or lean back a little bit to get that maximum amount of quad stretch make sure you hold your stretches for 20 seconds and to give the optimum amount of work for hamstrings again using the bar to keep my legs high up and then slowly push my glutes as far behind as possible to get that hamstring stretch i hope you did like the video if you did please drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel i would appreciate a sub and any comments are more than welcome thank you again for watching the video yes we'll keep on doing this consistently to get more better results let me see you tomorrow in the new video